She's inhuman! Oh dear, that's no way to address a performer. Ilya Plotzier? I thought as much. Are you all done resisting? Then allow me to set the stage. Oh, <sighs> such beauty. Now, apprehend your commander. Do it for the supreme leader of Crossbell. Hmm. This is just like what happened in the city. Don't let her enthrall you so easily! Please surrender, ma'am. For the good of Crossbell. Get away from her! Damn it! My, that was close, wasn't it? Ugh. What happened to us? Come on, pull yourselves together! Are you alright, Commander? Noelle, did all of you come to rescue us? I've been waiting for you and your friends to arrive, my favorite little guy. What's an impromptu performance without an audience to captivate? That mask she's wearing looks like... It's the same as the ones Angie and Crow were forced to wear. Yeah, it's a punch to the gut to see someone like Ilya be forced to stoop this low. And then again, after what you told us about that fake showing up at the military factory... Do... do you think she could be another fake? No. I'm fairly certain this is the real Ilya standing before us. We saw firsthand that there's a limit to how close a person can be replicated. Her dance earlier was so graceful that it took all I had not to give in and watch. Even knowing how dangerous it is. Can't imagine anything or anyone but Ilya is capable of that kind of talent. Isn't that right? Goodness, how flattering. You always were so sharp. Correct. I am the one and only Ilya Plotier. Who but the Duskin Dancer could guide humanity to paradise? It's the perfect role for me, wouldn't you say? Did you call yourself the Duskin Dancer? That mask must be cutting off blood flow to your brain to be putting on a persona like that. Yes. But the mask shouldn't be what's causing her dance to control people now. Right. The masks we've dealt with in the past altered the wearer's personalities and memories, but it didn't grant them special abilities. I can't claim to know the how or why, but I do know that this mask is special. It corrodes the minds of those it enraptures, and allows me to manipulate them however I wish. Like this. Damn it! I can't move! It feels as though it's clawing at me from inside. The Supreme Leader was right. The negative mana filling this place amplifies its power significantly. Enslaving the rest of the SSS and the remaining people of Crossbell will be simple once I've made Lloyd my pawn. And your Liberlian friends should do quite nicely in helping us bridge the gap to the rest of the continent as well. Was this all part of your plan? Did you lure us here deliberately so that you could do this? You're kidding me! You knew we would come help from the very beginning? This isn't looking good. Please, we can't allow them to fall here. Help them, no matter what it takes. I'm... I'm sorry, Commander. We can't hold out much longer. Surrender yourselves to me, and together, we can guide our home toward a new, glorious future. 
The United Nation will be realized once the symbols of Crossbell's independence have... Don't. Don't call us that. We were fools to think it was our responsibility to be the symbols of anything. We thought it was our duty to be the heroes who saved everyone and helped Crossbell regain its independence. But that's not who we are. And that's not the future we want for the home we know and love either. As we speak, so many people are out there fighting in their own ways, big and small. Not because they were asked to. No. They're just doing what they can to live out each day. We'll overcome this occupation. Just like we have in the past. And this time, we won't do it thinking it's up to us alone. We have the support of our friends and the citizens to push us through. That's the strength of the SSS, and of the whole of Crossbell. Lloyd. Damn straight, partner. That's exactly how the Guild feels, too. If there's one thing I learned through Thor's, it's how important it is to have each other's backs. How did you... You know exactly what we're referring to from your own experiences, Ilya. He said you may never walk again. But you took the stage less than three years later because of the love and support you were given. Your refusal to give up, no matter how grim the odds, gave light and courage to the people of Crossbell, including us. Yet here you are, using the same dance that once inspired the masses to enslave them at the behest of the Supreme Leader. Is this what you struggled so hard for over the last two and a half years? Is this what matters most to you right now? Could you ever look Sully and Risha in the eyes and tell them this is who you've become? What is it that matters most to you? Can you truly turn your back in the face of what you hold dear? I... I... Huh. Ellie would never half-ass even a trashy role like this. Right. The people of Crossbell, Risha, everyone who loves you could see that this isn't the real you. That you're stronger than this. Our friends overcame the mass's power, so I know you can too. Exactly. I don't doubt that for a moment. We're here to take back someone who's given Crossbell hope, no matter what it takes. That's right. There's so many people who need you now more than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. If you want to play hard to get, then have it your way. What? This feels like... Two devils from Gehenna! Now, show me what true strength looks like. If you believe it will allow me to recover whatever it is you think I've lost, then you're more than welcome to prove it. Gladly. Let's do this, everyone! Our mission is to defeat those two devils and neutralize Ilya. It won't be easy, but work together and we can do this. This one's for Murray. I'm going all out and knocking some sense back into you!
try to last until the curtain call, at least. My turn! I'll 
My turn! Spellbreaker! <laughs> Moving out! Keep strong! Toughness shield! Moving out! <laughs> I won't Not like you! Yet. And so begins the dark passion of the Duskin Theater. You're in for a real treat! Uno! Due! Tres! Take a bow. Morte. Mascarata! Thanks. I've got this. It's finished! Yeah! <laughs> Still okay. I won't lose. Here comes the climax. The dark passion of the Duskin Theater. You're in for a real treat. Uno, due, tre. Time to take a bow. Morte, mascarata. I'm sorry, everyone. I'll take care of it. Thanks. I won't let you! Back off! Good luck! Thanks. Let's go! Now go! Get him! Too slow! I've got this! Arcus, activate! Strong. Toughness shield! I'll take care of it. Uh? Yes. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks! Not a chance. Black Sun! Scatter thy I've got this. 
Nothing yet. 
<laughs> More polished by the day. <laughs> Lloyd? What have I... Look! She's returning to her senses! Now, Lloyd! Open your eyes, Elia! Risha and Sully are waiting for you to come back to them! Risha... Sully... I... I am... Do as you have been destined, Dancer. Dance till your heart sings. Dance till man falls into the depths of madness. No, we were so close. What the hell is happening? Follow her. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. You almost had me. But it looks like it'll take more than that to bring me back. No! Why does it have to be this way? Ilya! I wasn't expecting all of you to come. But boy, are we glad you did. Lloyd! Are you all right? Estelle, Joshua, it's good to see you're all right. We're fine, yeah, but where have I seen that airship before? Guess we arrived just in time to see one heck of a mess. Oh, now I get what you meant by that lead you had. That's right, it fortunately bore fruit. Risha. So, you found the courage to take the stage. I did. Tansan gave me the pep talk I needed. I'll be fine. Now go and do what only you can. Go and do whatever it takes to fight for what matters most to me. To us. Now I can face you with strength unyielding. For you... And for everyone else who loves me! Risha... <laughs> and that's the pep talk I needed. It's almost time for my final performance. We can settle matters between us there. Until Crossbell. Don't keep me waiting. Ilya... Well, we've got work to do. We've rescued the commander and the rest of the CGF, which means... Yeah. Let's go join everyone on the mountain path.
Where am I? Ray! So it all worked out, huh? You're always so slow, Randy. <laughs> you idiot. Right back at you, idiot. You have no idea how worried I've been about you, damn it. <sighs> the emergency treatment went well, so I think she's through the worst of it. The actual surgery will have to wait until she gets to the hospital. But I'll see it succeeds. You have my word. We leave her in your care. We see that she gets there safely, Jenga. Will do. Now, I'd say that's my cue to mosey. I'm happy to report that the SSS has returned to fighting fit. Does my heart good to see it? You've done yourselves proud. Looks like you found your feet again, too. Sure have. And we've got a lot of people to thank for that. We've faced a lot of hardships over the past few days, haven't we? Yeah, but I think they've shown us how best to move forward, too. Maybe. But now all we need to do is take back all that we cherish from the Supreme Leader. Yeah, nothing can stop us when the gang is all together. Noelle, Wazi, we couldn't have done it without you. And I'm sorry for worrying you, Risha. <laughs> Can't say I've done anything that warrants special thanks. Me neither. I consider myself part of the SSS in spirit, so I was just doing what I could. Same here. Now we just need to overcome Elia and the Supreme Leader directly. Yeah. And I know we can do it. Perhaps not alone. But with so many people backing us up, I can't imagine us losing. He's got a good head on his shoulders, this one. We feel the exact same way. That's how we'd always come out victorious in the past. It's definitely not going to be easy with most communications still being jammed. Oh. But... I'm sure working as a team will be the key to success. I sure know we couldn't have overcome the Great Twilight without help. Our victory was, without a doubt, thanks to everyone joining hands and hearts with us when we needed the most. Indeed. Including those like me who once stood against them. So I suppose we better get started on a plan that makes the most of everyone's unique strengths, huh? Especially now that we've got even more help in the form of Reem, Yuna, and so many others. So oh, I'm sure there's a road to success just waiting to be found. Yeah. It's reassuring to know they're with us. Thanks for bringing us that news, Lecter. I hear you helped them plenty on their way, too. <laughs> I didn't do much. Just fed them some info I thought they'd find useful. It's a shame we can't use the Round of Seven. But it'd be nice if we could find some other way to keep in direct contact. And the same goes for Yona and the rest of the guys at the hospital. <laughs> well, they've got us here to back them up wherever they need it. That they do. May we have our home back soon. With the CGF and police force assembling their full strength, this may be the best chance we have. Now we just have to hope that the ladies can... We've established a connection with the Orville Network. I'm going to try to use a proxy server to boot up the Round of Seven. You're actually getting it to work? Hopefully we'll be able to connect. Hold on... What's he up to? Rufus? And my uncle! Th they're broadcasting using the Orville network! Wait... Have they hacked wireless signal boosters to broadcast this as far as the Empire and the Republic? Not just wireless... Local area network cables, too. 
They're on about every kind of communications network there is across the continent. How? Is that even possible? Good day, all. I am Rufus Alborea, Supreme Leader of the United Nation of Crossbell. It is my great honor to announce that preparations to unify our great home of Zemuria are at last complete. Thus do I call upon our good neighbors, Calvert and Erebonia, to make known their intent of joining our nation. They have until noon tomorrow to comply. While I sincerely hope for their sound judgment in this matter, should they err, I will be forced to respond in kind. I can only pray that this most historic day for our continent comes to pass without a single drop of bloodshed. May you have the wisdom to do the right thing, my friends. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Has he lost his mind? Who is he to make a declaration of war against the Empire and the Republic? No! The world! There are dark clouds on the horizon. Very dark indeed. The Empire may elect to stay quiet, but the Republic will assuredly be at Crossbell's door within days. Considering most of the city is under the influence of Elia's dance, I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to crush us as a terrorist nation. But then our dream of declaring independence would be doomed. That might well end up sparking another world war, too. Surely the Supreme Leader must know that. I don't doubt that he does. Which means he's got some reason to believe that he can win against them. Yeah, he must have something in his hand he hasn't played yet. Just like how Dieter used me to pull off Crossbell's last declaration of independence. Oh no. But what could that possibly be? The app. I think it's going through. Lloyd, do you read me? Oh. Read?